Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the Older What I Seek Issue Study and Prayer Line on this 20th day in February 2023. Times keep on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. Best ability is availability part 10. Look like we're going to end it then. All right. Base scripture, Romans 12, 1. <clears throat> Look what it say. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yah, and it's your reasonable service, tailoring the building. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of Yah. Mother, good to see you in here. I see my big bro is up in here as well. Barb of Faithful in the building. Uh, Elder Yosef holding it down automatically. What's up with it, Kathy? Always a pleasure, young lady. Good to see that smile come on up in here. Good to see you, sis. Bear, 49. What's up with it? Good to see you, young lady, as well. Hallelujah. Who are we wall to wall, true top tall, y'all? Um, we got Mo in here. Al Mal, my pal. Quietly in the cut. <clears throat> Matty Yahoo is up in here as well. Yamini Yahoo is in the building. Melissa, she up in here. Look what it say, y'all. <clears throat> See, I tried to drive it home, right? Don Deems, good to see you in here. You know what it is, part 10. Best abilities, availability. But I tried to drive it home for us to get the revelation, leave this series right, understanding that it's by the Most High's mercy that we're able to govern a relationship with Him. It's by His mercy, period. It's by, it's by His mercy that we're able to obey Him. We think we're doing him a favor. He's doing us one. It's by his mercy. If you were swinging on a pole and you stop, it's because of his mercy. I'm telling you that now. Leslie Sutton. You're cursed if you're still swinging on the pole. You need his mercy. You're cursed if you're still on drugs. If you're still a drunk. If you're still popping off the mouth and cussing and acting a fool. That's a curse. You're not doing him a favor to stop. It's a blessing if you stop. Bree, what it be? Good to see you in here. Logan in the building too, Bree. Y'all know what it is. Your best ability is availability. To be in the most high's presence is eternal life. To have a state of mind to be faithful to him in these last and evil days and going through the transformation process. It's because of his mercy. And if you get that revelation, you kind of the privilege and the honor to be changed. Look what the second verse say. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. <clears throat> Um, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh, right? Whatever's in your heart, that's what you're going to do, right? 
Out of the heart flows the issues of life. However you think, that's how you live. However you think, that's how you live. And be not conformed to this world. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We were born with a fallen nature. And our state of mind was damnation. Period. Patricia Johnson, good to see you in here. Best Abilities, Availability, Part 10. We're in Romans uh, 12 and 2 right now. But how people think is sinful. It's unholy. When you're willing to show up, when you're willing to present your body, when you're willing to bring yourself to Yah, what he's going to do for you is change your mind. Straight up, uh, you mean a Yahoo? Damaged. Born damaged. Banks in the building. I see you in here. That big shine in here too? Are oh, y'all with me? If you're willing to show up, the only thing the Most High going to do is transform you to the saving of your soul. When the Most High told us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, thank you, Logan, for posting that. But when the Most High told us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, why did he say that? Robinson in the building. Good to see you in here. The best ability is availability. Part 10. Why did he, why, why did he tell us to show up faithfully? Because we need him. And this is the process that he chose to change us. There's a, a teacher that I respect a lot. A truth unedited. I don't know if y'all ever heard him teach, but he used animation, cartoon type things. Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here, Boca Toe. But he used animation, the best ability is availability, part 10, uh, Denise, we're in uh, Romans 12 and 2. But he, truth unedited, if y'all haven't heard him, look it up because he's, he, he really teaches well. Caitlin, good to see you in here, sweetheart, bless you. Best Abilities, Availability, Part 10. And he teaches so well. But he taught something that I just totally disagree with. I understand where you're coming from, but I disagree with it. Jeff Brown, good to see you in here, man. Best Abilities, Availability, Part 10. What he was saying was, you don't need the Pope, which is true. But you don't need people to have a relationship with Yah is between you and Yah. <clears throat> That's true in a sense. We got to learn to rightly divide the word because you teach rebellion when you do that. Let me tell you something. If, if, if that was the case, then the platform of the Ecclesia was wrong. Mo Mo Moses, Moshe. And the, and the congregation in the wilderness, that was the platform from the Ecclesia. Nor would it have been necessary for a Timothy to teach, I mean, Paul to teach Timothy, Titus, and the other elders that he trained to go ordain elders in different cities. If, 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 if we solo bolo, nor would it, the book of Hebrews said, obey them that had a rule over you, nor Romans 10, when it talks about how can you hear without a preacher, and how can he preach except he be sent. the times that we're going into to where he is say we're at war or it's such big persecution that you can't assemble you're, 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 you're a believer and you're hiding you're running because they're killing believers and all that if it come to that of course you ain't going to assemble but, and, and, and y'all still going to be there for you Without question. It's just like it's just like he say, he that believeth and is baptized 
shall be saved. Well, wonder if there's no water. Are you still saved? The answer is yes. If you have opportunity, then do it. If you have opportunity to assemble, Yah told you to assemble. If you can't, then you can't. Renee, good to see you in here. I'm here in the building. Are y'all with me? Just like he told everyone to give. Everyone is supposed to financially support ministry. Well, you can't if you ain't got it. You can't get baptized if it ain't no water. You can't give if you ain't got it. And you can't assemble if everybody's on the run. But you can't teach not to give. You can't teach you don't have to give. You, you can't teach you don't have to assemble. You, you can't teach that you don't need to be baptized. You can't teach that. <laughs> I hope I'm making sense to y'all. So I just disagreed with that highly. Not not a little bit. <clears throat> I disagreed, you know, you know, wholeheartedly. Back to twelve and one, y'all. I, I, I'm begging you, therefore, by the mercy of Yah, that you make a presentation, that you present yourself. And the reason why the most high wants you to present yourself is the same reason why the professor or the teacher at school wants you to present yourself. Same reason why uh, the company wants you to show up, go to training, or to do whatever's necessary to get the job done. The Most High has taken us through the mind renewal process. And be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He told you to present your bodies because he don't want you to be conformed to this world. That's a form of coming out of the world. That's another form of what the ark was talking about. Coming out of the world, get, get in the ark, because it's going to rain. A flood is coming. Get inside of the ark, the ark of safety. He want us to, inside of the ark of safety. He want, us, he want us gathered together. In Egypt, we was in Goshen. All the Hebrews lived in Goshen, not amongst the Egyptians. And when it was going down, he protected Goshen. Same type stuff. Kind of like on some common sense level. Everybody is changing twice in the building. The best ability is availability, part 10, twice. Are y'all with me? We're in Romans 12 and one again. But wherever Yah's <laughs> all right twice. Where, wherever wherever Yah's children is, there's safety. He's in the midst. He's healing. If we walk in the light as he's in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Yahushua cleanses us from all sin. We're going through a wash machine process right now. The word is coming and it's challenging our and it's challenging our thinking. And it's taking us through a transformation process. Right now. He's in the midst and he's being intimate with us. Ramon Price, good to see you in here. The best ability is availability part 10. We're in Romans 12 and 1 again. Are y'all with me? When you show up, he supernaturally get all in your business and he begin to correct you. He begin to change you. He'll have, he'll have, a, he'll have a preacher say stuff and you'll be wondering, man, it seems like he know my business. He would be leaving a lesson talking about, it seemed like y'all was talking directly to me and he was. Why? Because you're presenting your body a living sacrifice. All that garbage we got in us, all that wickedness in us, I'm not talking about in somebody else. I'm talking about the wickedness in us is being mortified. And mortified mean to kill. It's being killed. It's being destroyed. 
Victoria in the building. You with me, Price? <coughs> Excuse me. The word comes in and pull down every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. You got the knowledge of Yah in you? If you're in the word, you got the knowledge of Yah in you. If you got the word, you got his knowledge. There's things that happen that exalts against the knowledge. Lustful thoughts, mean thoughts, revengeful thoughts, hateful thoughts. Prideful thoughts exalts itself against the word, but the word has power. It will pull down every thought and make it obedient to Yah. The word does that, but you got to show up, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. Um, Because you got to know the difference between religious people and people that got a true relationship. And it takes study in the word. You got to know that the people that followed the Messiah was religious people that claimed Yah. In his time, the, the majority of them had a bloodline too. The majority of them had the blood. They, they were blood Abraham. They, they were his, they was Yah's chosen children, but the majority of them was religious. Yeah. If you would have ran in them, they would have said, praise the Lord in, 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 in today's church vernacular. If you would have asked them how they do, and they would say, bless in today's church vernacular. Back then, they probably said, brook. Are y'all with me? But they had a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. When you get around the true word, he wants you to show up because he wants to take you through a mind renewal process and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He wants to take you through a mind renewal process. What's the process? How does he take us through the mind renewal process? Present your body a living sacrifice. Show up. And then you're supposed to have your own personal relationship. Just like if you went to school. Y'all ever heard of homework? You go to college? You think everything is done in front of the professor? Well, you ain't been to college if you don't know that. No, you go home and cram. You show up to the meeting and he tutor, he lecture. And then you snatch all your stuff, your books and everything, your notes, and you do a push it. And you go where you're going to be, coffee shop, back to the dorm, your little apartment, wherever you're going. And you cram. And you meditate this world both day and night so you can be like the tree planted by the rivers of water. Because what we're doing is we, we, we got our hands full dealing with ourselves. I'm not talking about getting in other people's business. I'm talking about dealing, dealing with ourselves. Because if you mess around and deal with yourself, you're going to be out of people's business. That's probably one of your problems now. Some people too to, to, to involved in other people's business. And if you spend some time with Yah, he'll deliver you from that. But he has a process. How can they hear without a preacher? And then the Bible went on to say, and how can he preach except he be sent? And you got a lot of people that's not sent. Thank the most high for those that are. But when the word go forth, it's supposed to transform you. It's supposed to change you. And you're supposed to be here for that. When you're religious, the word come and it starts smacking you. What well, had you known, y'all like you should, that's what you're here for. Do you know why we're here? To go through a mind renewal process. Do you know how we go through a mind renewal process? Because the word is going to come challenge 
what you're doing. The word is here to tell you, show you the sin in your life. That's what it's here for. You came, those that love y'all, you came so you wouldn't leave here the same. Hope y'all with me. See, Cyprian, I hope I said your name right. Good to see you in here. Talk back to me. People, listen. When, 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 when the Most High met the woman at the well, it was a prelude to them having a conversation. And the Most High and the Messiah was letting her know that had you known who I was, you'd be, you'd be asking me for the eternal water. Because he was asking her for some water. And she said, then give me that water. The moment she said, give me that water, he said, go get your husband. She said, I don't have a husband. He said, right, because you have five, and the dude you with now ain't your husband. That's offensive. He lightweight called her a whore. He got in her business and told her her bedroom activity. That's what he did. Because she asked for the water. Well, the water was living water, which is the word, which is eternal life. When you position yourself with Yah, he come to tell you the truth about you. Like, say some of y'all holding grudges, feelings hurt, so you believe since your flesh is hurt, feelings hurt, so you believe that your flesh, your feelings, since your feelings is hurt, you have a reason to hold grudges or cuss or act a fool. Well, if you show up in Yah's presence, he'll, he'll treat you like the Messiah treated the woman at the well. You show up, you need to know you came here and he'll say to you, who's in your bed? Carnal people would look at me and say, why is he wondering what's in people's bed? You know, religious folk. What, what, what's wrong with him? He supposed to be preaching Jesus. Religious folks. <laughs> I definitely teach you his real name for sure. And it ain't Jesus. But when we show up, we show up for the words of eternal life to come. And the word comes with purpose. It comes, it comes with purpose and it gets in your business on purpose. The word comes with purpose to save you. So it gets in your business on purpose. It would challenge you to the point of to say, why are you showing the center of your breast on Facebook or Instagram? Yeah, they ask you that. It, the word already know why you're doing it because you're out of pocket. But it will ask you that. And those that are his children came to be changed. It will make you wonder. You'll challenge yourself because you see everybody else doing it. Everybody else getting screwed too. Screwed over and literally screwed. Getting their feelings hurt, getting sold, beat up. As the world turned. Well, when you turn to Yah, he'll reveal to you why are you showing your brazier. He will. Why are you taking butt pictures? What, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? Just like the Messiah did with the woman at the well. He asked her for some water. 
she was shocked that he was even talking to her. Me being a Samaritan, I know you, 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 the Yahoo, the, the, you, you, the Yahoo DM, the you DM, you know, y'all, y'all don't really mess with us because the, 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 they, they were the Samaritans, what you call like half breed, because they were sleeping with Gentiles. They got, they were sinning, they got scattered, and and they became half breeds because they was mixing. Uh, uh, Israel wasn't supposed to mix with nobody else. And they did. The, the northern kingdom did. So the Jews didn't have nothing to do with them. But anyway, he's ministering uh, to, 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 to her. And when he was ministering to her, he started off by asking her for something. Y'all asks his children for stuff to see where your heart is. Because cause had she been the type, y'all asked her for something, and she, and she be the type to be like, I ain't giving you nothing. Then I'd have ended the conversation. Because you got folks that come to Yah, they just want something from him, but they don't want to give nothing. They don't even like him like that. And the relationship with Yah will teach you about you, how you really feel about Yah. Some people come to him, they never come to bow down or to do nothing for him. They want to see what he can do for them, period. And that's how they live life. You got some people that are straight users. They use people. Wrong heart. He really can't mess with you. But when, 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 when the Most High sent the Messiah to deal with the woman at the well, he asked her for some water. And she was willing to give it to him. So that's when he then flipped it and said, had you known who I was, right, you'd be asking me for some water. And she was like, you ain't got nothing to draw no water with. He said, no, this living water. And that's when she said, give me that, that, that living water. And that's exactly everybody that love Yah comes to him for that water, the word, y'all. Symbolic language for the word. Everyone that belongs to Yah is looking for the word. So they can be transformed. Look what the scriptures say. It's part 10, y'all. We done today. Listen. Second verse. And be not conformed to this world. He said, get away from this world. The way they think, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. All of us then did that. We should be done with that. Those of us that's really coming to Yah as a believer, we're finished with that. Now we're here wanting to go through a transformation process. So when he said, present your body a living sacrifice, he's telling you to present your body a living sacrifice so I can bring you out of the world. That's why the second verse, it says, and be not conformed to this world. But look what else it says. But be transformed, changed, because you was like that. Did nobody come here perfect. We all need a transformation process. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah, how you think ain't cool. And those that really belong to Yah, that's getting to know him, he'd already showed you that. That's why you repented. The word came, you was willing to repent. Like, I am done doing things my way. I want to be rescued. Alina Franklin, in the building, the best abilities, availability, part 10, when Romans 12 and 2. So, and be not conformed to this world, but be transform, transformed. I want to be changed. How? By the renewing of my mind. Yeah, straight up. I want to be changed. I want to think different. That's what we're here for. Just got you a man, but the word came. Leave him alone. Just got you a woman, but the word came. Leave her alone. Yeah. He gonna fix it for you too, Victoria. We always challenge you with stuff. 
but we got two responses to things, right? When things happen in our life, we got Yah's response or ours. And to do things Yah's way will cause you to cry sometimes. But at the end of the day, come on, talk back to me. But at the end of the day, like Beverly said, we're getting rid of this stinking thinking. At the end of the day, we're going we gonna, to we gonna, we gonna do it Yah's way. Because that's eternal life. Everything that happens in our life become a test. As soon as we start getting the Yah, the dude, the dude, the dude that y'all wanted, because I don't want no dude, never did. You understand that? But the dude that you wanted, the dude that you wanted, when give you no 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 play until you say you know I'm gonna give my life to Yah then then he is inboxing you that's how it work you know what I mean high as dope he is couldn't get none so as soon as you say you gonna give your life to Yah now now folks wanna give you some free dope that's how the devil works that's how it is folks get rude things go wrong. You're being tested. Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when you're tried or tested, for when you're tried, you shall receive a crown of life, which Yah has promised to them that love him. When you pass the test, you're going to end up with eternal life. We ain't doing nothing but presenting our, the, our best ability is availability because we can't do it on our own. That's why I say I like truth unedited. I really do. But he shouldn't have taught that. He got to retract that. That's not good. Don't teach people that. Your best ability is availability to show up. So you can be taught. So you can go through humility. Being taught by somebody else, you got to be humble to do that. People is humble. People cooperate with people because they're getting paid. A man or a woman cooperate with the man or woman because they're getting laid. If they wasn't getting laid, they wouldn't cooperate. Some people in a relationship for money. If they weren't getting, if they weren't getting paid, they wouldn't cooperate. People go to job. You know why they cooperate? Call that dude boss, cause he paying them. If he wasn't paying them, is the word worth you listening? Being under authority. Some people want the word from Yah. So they're willing to humble themselves through his process. He got, it's Yah's process to not forsake the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. And that's fine as the manner of some is. Some people not going to do it. And that's fine. Some people believe what truth on the edited said. They believe, they believe that. Then do what you got to do. Whatever you believe, do that. Because that's what we do, right? Everybody believe and do what they believe, right? All right, do that. <clears throat> but I'm telling you that your best ability is availability. Because it's by his grace that you say. And how you get Yah's grace is, is you humble yourself and go through the process. You go from being taught raised in him to being ordained because you've been found found faithful. You go from being taught to being found faithful and then transfer. Now you teach it. Problem is you got too many people running around here teaching that's not teachable. <sighs> Are y'all with me? If you would me, put a one in here. If you would me, put a one in here. Yeah, you stay away from wicked folks, Victoria. In the spirit of love, pray for them. Stay away from them. Listen, I'm begging you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yah, that you present your body a living sacrifice. Living. You're alive? Good. Then present your bodies a living sacrifice. To Yah. 
be holy too. You, what makes you holy? Obeying the word, holy. And acceptable on the yah. What's acceptable on the yah? According to his word, present your, present your body according to his word. That's it. Present your body according to the word. And it's reasonable. And look what it says. And be not conformed to this world. You're presenting your body because you don't want to be conformed to this world. He's trying to help us. He's trying to help us. Don't be like the world. But be transformed, changed. We need to change. Every last one of us need to change. How many of y'all can admit you need to change? Put a two in here if you need to change. How many of y'all can, let me start with my two. Booyah deuces. Straight up. Have I changed since I've been with him? Yep. How did I change? The process, not forsaken the assembly. I'm going to tell you how, how the most high is changing me. Because I show up. I show I don't I don't go on sabbaticals. Supposed to be preaching sabbaticals. The, the people I see going sabbaticals are religious and they always sinning too. I'm just telling you my personal. People, people that 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 be coming up missing live weird. Can I say that? I'm gonna say it because it's true. Might it hurt their feelings? Probably should hurt their feelings. They should be hurt that they're not faithful to Yah. But people that's in and out live with. Their theological position, nine times out of ten, is weird. What they believe in it don't line up with the word. I'm telling you. It's just the truth. I've been doing this a long time. And I watch in and out people. Just watch how they live. If they were honest, they'd tell you they sent him. If they were honest. But a lot of people that's in and out say they got their own personal relationship with y'all. They don't like to admit that. Then that's when they get real religious and start saying, we all sin. They, yeah, that's how they cover their tracks. Everybody said, what you trying to say? You don't sin? Then they go there with it. <laughs> oh, sad. <laughs> What you trying to say? You perfect? They do that. In and out, people. They're sinning. Listen. And be not conformed to this world. Why do you say that? Because he's trying to help us. You see what the world doing? Dudes is turning into women. Right now. And women is turning into men. Right now. They're attacking the children with this stuff. Right now. And be not conformed to this world. I don't agree with that. Talking about equality. Are you serious? Is you serious right now? Al Hawk, good to see you in here, sir. Best abilities, availability, part 10. Then it's going to end. We're in Romans 12 and 2 right now, sir. And be not conformed to this world. What is he hating? And be not conformed to this world. Is he hating? Is he doing too much? Then be conformed to this world, watch you finish sinning, and the world going to be destroyed. How about that? He's not hating. He's trying to help you. He's telling you that because of his mercy. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We got to change our stinking thinking. We need to go through a mind renewal process. We need to look at our thoughts and allow the word to change it. 
we got to be on some, thy word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And then we got to recognize that our heart is not talking about the muscle in our chest to pump blood. Talk about our heart, our thinking. Yeah. Thy word if I hid in my heart and I meditate in his word both day and night. So I can be like that tree planted by the rivers of water that bring it forth with fruit in due season. Fruit is what you do. Season is different circumstance. And be not conformed in this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We're going through a mind renewal process right now. Every last one of us that's children of Yah are going through a mind renewal process as I speak. The test of time. As time go on, let me tell you this. As time go on, unfortunately, some people are getting weaker while others are getting stronger. That's just the truth. Ernestine, bless you. We're in the best ability is availability part 10. And then it's going to end. This is the last one. We're in Romans 12, 1 and 2. Bless you. Thanks for joining. So I'm begging you. Beseech means to beg. Therefore, by the mercies of Yah, it's by his mercy that we're able to present our bodies a living sacrifice. Quit believing that you're doing him a favor. Oh, I don't feel like it. Like you're doing him a favor. You need this. He don't. He's doing this because he love you. He don't need it. He already got eternal life. We need it. We need him. He love us. We need him. So the, the relationship is set up by his because of his mercy. He wants you. Come on. Because it's love. It's kindness. And he's willing to give you grace, unmerited favor to make it. So I'm begging you, therefore, by the mercy of God, that you make a presentation. Who? You. What am I supposed to present? You. Come on. Come here. And when you come, come holy. Mentally. According to his word, acceptable in Yah, which is reasonable. It's your reasonable worship. Reasonable service, y'all. Listen, second verse. And be not conformed to this world. Why is he saying be not conformed to this world? Because there's nothing in the world but the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Ain't nothing but death out there. Come out of that. Paper chase, lust, sickness, perversion. They pervert it. Get a couple of dollars, you butt naked. Look how they dress. They call that fashion. The more naked you are, the more fashionable you are. How in the world did Satan get men to run around here like they women? How did he do that? And it's everywhere you look. And it's getting worse daily. How in the world did Satan convince women they men? They masculine and strong. I can do anything you can do. You, you shouldn't want to do what I do. Because I definitely don't want to do what you do. I, I, I don't, I don't want to bleed. I don't, I don't want to have children. That's not what I want to do. How are you the same as me and you can have babies and breastfeed them? How, how are we the same? We built different. We think different. And the devil that came along to convince you that you got to compete with me in being a man. What kind of sense does that make? You're not a man. 
then jacked men up so bad, then broke them, buck broke them, broke them. They just want to be feminine, just submit, surrender. That, now, that's it right there, Toy. You smack that one, pal. Cold red. Times we living in. And the Hebrew brother, them some strong brothers. Charisma and all. And they run around here like chicks. Are you serious right now? So now you understand why I said be not conformed to this world. We literally live in the time in the times that I got to say this. This is crazy, is that? My, how, how, how things have changed. Oh, my goodness. You got gangsters on this silly stuff. Cats sure what they count. I mean, they take them to the back of the field and go up in them and stuff, man. We, boy, I tell you, man. It, oh, my goodness. But the devil, you feel me? Without y'all, you're done. I'm telling you. That's why I'm finna go, y'all. But that's why you got to make a presentation. Because folks that present themselves to y'all don't do stuff like that. In fact, it's like appalling. They're vexed. It's vexation to see what's going on in these streets out here in this world. Murder. Got our children killing one another. Oh, it's ugly. It's ignorant. Low life. Folks think it's cool. Oh my goodness. They, they call that equality. They call that equality. Wow. Can, can you see a, a, a cat running around here barking? Talking about it's quality. I want to be a dog. And I want my right to be a dog. Dog look, turn around and go, huh? And then you get enough crazy folks to agree. You take a child to say, I want to be Barney when I grow up. What you do? You laugh that off. Then next time you say, well, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. You go, oh, how cute. And then they come and say, I want to be a, a nice lady when I grow up. Oh, he said it. He said it. That's it. Don't discriminate. You have to be an idiot. It's child abuse. I want to be a princess when I grow up, the little boy says. He didn't went from Barney to a princess. You didn't you didn't try to you didn't try to turn him into Barney, did you? But as soon as he said, I want to be, I want to be a fairy, fairy godmother when I grow up. Oh, he said it, that's it. Don't discriminate. Boy, I tell you. And be not conformed to this world. I'm finna go, y'all. This is the series. I hope y'all got your best ability is availability. Make yourself available for y'all. And you know what he gonna do? Present you blameless before his presence. Bible in Philippians, the second chapter say, he that began a working in you shall perform it until Yahushua come. He gonna perform it. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, yes he did, uh, uh, Jeff. The whole world. And the reason why, the reason why we're not under his deception no more is because we're presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Y'all need to know that. Y'all need to know that. You show up. And you know what y'all gonna do? You're not gonna be conforming to this world. Look what he gonna do. But he gonna transform you by the renewing of your mind. And you know what you're going to be able to prove? That you may be able to prove what's good and acceptable and it's perfect will. And that's real talk. Folks will be able to see the will of Yah through you. Because he's going to change you. 
You won't leave here like you came in Yahushua's name. Straight up, he's going to change you. Period. And this is the process. Y'all with me? Your best ability is availability. Did y'all learn something out of this series? Put a four in here if you learned something. Put a four in here if you learned something out of this series. Put a four in here if you learned something. Put a four in here if you learned something. If you learned something out of this series. If it was edifying to you. If you learned something out of this series. Hallelujah. If you learned something. If you learned something. If you learned something. I see the foes coming in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless y'all. Bless y'all. How many of y'all plan to, to do it? To show up. To show up. To be faithful to y'all. That's what's up twice. Like you said, look at here. You, 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 got, you got deuces twice. Hear me? That must be twice up in here. Listen. Put a five on it if y'all down with it. If y'all... If, 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 if we, if we plan to be faithful to y'all until he come get us. First, we talking about a retirement. How do you retire? Retire from y'all? Never. Ever. I got five on it. Let's pray. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humbly to know how we're in your presence because we love you. We need you desperately. Cause us to stay faithful. To be faithful, then to stay faithful. Hallelujah. To be faithful, to be faithful, then stay faithful, to become. Some of us need to become faithful, to become faithful, but then stay faithful after we achieve faithfulness. Uh, hallelujah. Who are not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together as uh, some other folks do, but exhorting one another so much the more as we see the day approaching. Continue to take us through uh, the transformation process by the renewing of our mind. So we'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, your perfect will in these last and evil days. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. Hua. And am I. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to pay everything the most I say. Okay? Okay. Okay. Ken, then, I just finished, man. Wish you could have uh, parked a little sooner, man. You can run it back, though. But good seeing you. Congratulations. On your beautiful children, man. You're doing, you're doing a, a masterful job over there, man. Send my love and my blessings to you, the wife, and the family, man. Bless you, bro. Continue, continue. Y'all over there getting it in. All right, y'all. Um, th thanks for hanging out. Y'all want to talk about the lesson. Uh, feel free. All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension A15648. Uh, I wish I, I'm, I'm going to read that uh, later, uh, uh, twice. Uh, 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 I'm going to read that later. It went by, by, by too fast, but we'll, we'll holler. We'll holler. Get at me. Get at me twice. Uh, always a pleasure, uh, 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 Kendon. Thank everybody that puts the share button. Thank everybody to tag. And thank everybody that supports this ministry. Only support this ministry if this ministry is supporting you. Real talk. Never support a ministry that don't support you. Uh, but I, but I thank everyone uh, uh, for for the for the support. Right on, right on, right on. Uh, 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 love y'all. Uh, remember uh, the home going celebration for Dave Auntie is on the twenty fourth. Y'all keep the family in in, in 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 prayer for the loss loss of his auntie. Keep 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 them um um lifted. Is that all right? All right. I, I love y'all. Uh, I think the wife and I plan to call you uh, today, uh, 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 Bree. Yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.